Maybe you're gonna buy some lucky person a brand new phone, but some pesky family member, or worse, significant other, beat you to it. Or maybe you just don't have $1,000 laying around for a new phone. Lucky for you, there's still a ton of great options that cost less than a fraction of this and still deliver big on satisfaction. This guide won't just help you get the best gift in every price range, but also aims to get you the best price too. So make sure you check the link below for the best prices on these devices too. Here's our list of the best gifts that are less expensive than a phone. This section we call, I care but. I'm broke, not that much, whatever the excuse. These gifts are so thoughtful, they'll be sure to cover that up. First up is the Google Chromecast, a simple device useful for any smartphone user. Enabling you to stream the most popular media apps like Netflix, Hulu, and YouTube from an iOS or Android phone, Chromecast is easy to set up and even add a degree of home automation with its ability to turn on your TV via the HDMI port. All control happens on the phone though, no remote is included. And since there's no apps on the Chromecast itself, this makes sense. Next is the Google Home Mini. This cute little device can be tucked away easily in any room and still provide answers to most of your burning questions, as well as a rundown of your day's agenda, and of course, smart home control with compatible devices. Google Assistant is pretty clearly the smartest voice assistant in terms of knowledge, and it has a number of app integrations and features like those to order food, play music, buy movie tickets, and more, including a new and improved newsfeed. Some of the lesser talked about features include the ability to broadcast a message from one Google Home device to the next, or the ability to tell the assistant where you put something in order for it to recall it later when you ask. Pair this little device with a Google Chromecast, and you've just eclipsed the $50 mark, but now automated their TV to say, hey Google, play Game of Thrones, or hey Google, play Ed Sheeran on my Chromecast. Not bad for $60, you savvy gift giver you. Amazon's Fire TV Stick is another solid buy, offering streaming from Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, HBO Go, Prime Video of course, and a bunch more. Amazon's Fire TV remote also has a microphone built in for Alexa voice commands, but lacks the inbuilt capability to stream media from your mobile device like on the Chromecast. Third-party apps, which typically cost a few bucks, offer a way to achieve this on the Fire Stick, but naturally native support is a better bet, especially if streaming from your phone is an important feature to this person, and especially if they may be less tech savvy. This brings us to the Fire TV Cube. This little box is pretty much the total package. Equipped with an IR controller and Alexa built in, the Fire TV Cube can control devices like your TV, set-top box, and soundbar, as well as deliver content from streaming services, all by the sound of your voice. Essentially, this is an Echo Dot, Fire TV Stick, and Universal Remote all rolled into one little package. This does come with the Fire TV Remote as well, so you don't have to do everything by voice, but being able to issue commands with the TV off like, Alexa, show me my front door, or Alexa, play the marvelous Miss Maisel, and watch your entire home theater setup come to life is pretty cool. Let's step up a bit to the next bracket. Presents so good, even you won't believe they were under $100. In this price range, you'll find a lot of smart devices, headphones, and Bluetooth speakers, but we'll be focusing on the first two because we have some particular recommendations for speakers in the next section. When it comes to true wireless headphones, it's not easy to find a decent pair under $100. Here's our main two picks for these. Selling for the killer price of $40, it's hard to beat the soul emotions when it comes to listening to music. These deliver punchy and robust audio and two hour playback time with an additional two charges via the included charging case. There's no sweat resistance though, and we did observe a slight delay when watching videos. So if exercise or watching videos are important, we recommend the next step up, the Roken Bit Charge Touch. Selling for just $70, these earphones have impressive sound, stylish looks, sweat proofing, touch controls, and a solid battery life at 3.5 hours of music playback. Best of all, these are one of the few wireless headphones that have absolutely no delay when watching videos. Need a little more icing on the cake? Consider that these earphones use Bluetooth 5.0 for much better range and connectivity, and the 2100 mAh charging case has a full-sized USB port, doubling as a power bank for other devices. You really can't get more than that when it comes to a pair of wireless headphones. A gift like this proves that you've thought of everything. If you're shopping for someone who cares about name brands or just feels more comfortable with them yourself, a step up of about $50 will still net you some pretty awesome value. Consider the Sony WF SP700N, Zolo Liberty Plus, Jabra Elite 65T, Jaybird Run, Bose Sound Sport Free, Braggy's The Headphone, and of course, Apple's AirPods. These are all splendid sets of earphones which you pretty much can't go wrong with, so a lot will come down to preference. There are some other small ins and outs, so make sure you check out our full review on these to check that out. Smart speakers are always a fun gift, because at a bare minimum, they offer an easy way to play music or a quick way to answer random questions. But they can also be the most important piece of a smart home overhaul, and both the Google Home and Amazon Echo are more than capable of this. Choosing between the two really depends on who you're buying for. 
If you're working with an Android or Google Chromecast user, you might choose the Google Home since integrations between these devices are quite useful and provide easy controls. The other important consideration is how often they'll use the Assistant for information. Google's Assistant is unrivaled here, displaying more intelligent, relevant answers to more things. Lastly, playing music through multiple first- and third-party Chromecast-enabled devices is much easier and better supported than the Echo's whole home audio features, which only allow first-party Alexa-enabled speakers to partake. Google and Amazon share most of the major integrations when it comes to smart home, but Echo devices still have more Alexa integrations, making the likelihood of incompatibility far less. There's also something to be said about the ease with which Alexa rolls off the tongue versus OK Google, something to keep in mind for less tech-savvy or older people. Just outside of this price range, you'll find the Google Home Hub. This cute little smart screen does an excellent job of staying out of the way with its medium-sized 7-inch screen and ability to change display hues, quite well we might add, to blend into its environment. This and the intentional exclusion of a camera make the Home Hub an excellent bedside companion, while also offering features that make it useful in any room, like on-screen smart home control and access to video streaming services like YouTube and HBO Now. Now for the jam-packed $100 to $200 price point. Here you can find that cool gadget they never quite pulled the trigger on, but you know they want. We'll start first with some solid choices to build a whole home audio setup. We have three main picks here, sure to deliver great sound and amazing value. Marshall's Acton Multi-Room Speaker is a top pick for its loud, full-bodied sound, as well as its support for multi-room connectivity via both AirPlay and Chromecast. At a price like this, the Marshall Acton is a strong contender for the most valuable deal, sure to impress sonically and aesthetically. Smart features like a dial to access preset artists, albums, and playlists on Spotify, as well as dials to tweak bass, treble, and volume make this speaker a music lover's best friend. An easy-to-use app for multi-speaker control top off this solid package, making whole home audio as effortless as can be. That is, as long as you're not an Android user on Apple Music or an iPhone user on any other service besides Apple Music or Spotify. Whole home audio won't be an option outside of those. For more music service flexibility, we suggest skipping ahead to Sonos or Bose. This next pick is for the smart home fiends out there. The JBL Link series of smart speakers is another excellent choice, offering multi-speaker connectivity as well as the capable Google Assistant housed within. These Chromecast-enabled speakers have a very amenable starting price right now, and right now can be had for the sweet price of $170. And with the ability to control multiple speakers through the Google Home app, it'll surely seem like you spent a pretty penny on it. If that special someone is an Apple Music user though, you may want to skip this one since whole home audio isn't supported for Apple Music, only Spotify and other Google approved services. Bose's SoundTouch system is another solid option for whole home audio, but it can get a little bit pricey. Luckily, the $200 SoundTouch 10 is on sale right now for $170, offering very loud and clear audio. This Alexa compatible speaker doesn't come with the assistant built in, but can be controlled by other Alexa enabled devices, as well as of course the Bose companion app making the SoundTouch 10 a more compatible first piece for a whole home audio setup, but not quite as compatible as a Sonos system. Sonos is as well known for its strong home theater and whole home audio solutions as it is for its high price. That's why the company introduced the Sonos One and Sonos Play One. Both of these are loud, room-filling individual devices with exceptional audio quality and the ability to link with multiple Sonos speakers and over 70 different media streaming services. The odds are, whatever music service you use, it's covered. The main differences you'll find between the two are the built-in Alexa Assistant and AirPlay 2 compatibility found on the Sonos One and absent on the Sonos Play One. Like the Bose SoundTouch series, the Sonos One and Play One can link with Sonos home theater setups as well as other Sonos products. This, superior audio, streaming service agnosticism, and AirPlay support make the Sonos One a knockout choice for all users. Lastly, if you know someone with an awesome speaker or home theater setup, but they just can't link it with other devices for a whole home audio, then the Bose SoundTouch Link wireless adapter is your perfect missing piece. This transforms any speaker with component, optical, or 3.5mm inputs into a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled speaker now capable of joining in with SoundTouch speakers for a whole home audio setup. 150 bucks isn't anything to sneeze at, but if this is the kind of thing that your special someone needs, you'll pretty much be a hero for this one. Philips Hue lights are super cool. They just are. They come in a number of different applications for ambiance, indoor, outdoor, and much more. Plus, they're extremely versatile and reliable, leveraging LED technology to produce over 16 million colors and reach a lifespan of over 25,000 hours. Yes, they are a bit pricey, usually selling for around $50 for a Hue white and color bulb. But right now, you can grab a four bulb starter pack with the Hue control bridge included for just 170 bucks. This pack is a perfect starter, sufficient to outfit an entire room or apartment, and of course, easy to add on to. 
There's a number of cool add-ons and lights to choose from, but a strong fan favorite is the Philips LED light strip for creating a colorful ambiance in tight areas, like behind furniture or appliances. Of course, your phone, Google Assistant, Siri, and Alexa can control your Hue lights too. The bridge does provide a deeper feature set though, as controlling lights through the dedicated Hue app opens up the ability to drag your finger through the 16 million color spectrum and create custom, voice assistant recognized scenes with simple names but complex color schemes that can vary colors, luminosities, and even the lights involved. Suffice it to say, if you want the best, most customizable, and easy to use experience, then the Hue Bridge and 4 Bulb Starter Pack will light up a grin on even the least tech savvy user's face. The Nest Learning Thermostat is another great gadget that ranks high on the coolness scale, with its easiest pie setup and functionality, as well as having energy saving features that can put a really nice gift in the pocket, money. This thermostat isn't just a neat way to tell your preferred smart assistant what temperature you'd like the house to be, it's also a tool designed to learn your patterns and program itself, saving you time, energy, and money. Naturally, if you'd like to create your own schedules and conditions, you can. And with tools to see how to cut back on your personal energy consumption easily accessed in the Nest app, you can go about this properly educated on how to find a happy medium for your house and your bank account. Add-ons like the $40 Nest temperature sensor can make things even easier by telling the thermostat to keep a particular room or set of rooms at a certain temperature. The Nest thermostat can keep you comfortable and save you money without you having to do much of anything past initial setup, making this an excellent gift for all levels of tech savviness. Ring's Video Doorbell Pro is essentially a 3-in-1 GIF. It's a security camera, intercom, and of course, a doorbell. Plus, the included Chime Pro, a Wi-Fi and Chime extender found in this particular deal, adds yet another sweet gift to the package. This $200 package will allow your special someone to see who's at the door in 1080p clarity. Not just when the doorbell rings, but whenever they'd like via the Ring app on their phone, Amazon Smart Display, or TV. Motion-activated alerts, night vision, and a porch covering 160-degree field of view, and the option to access video clips of every Ring event for up to 60 days for $3 a month make the Ring Video Doorbell Pro the total package for front door security. Throwing in a free second-generation Echo Dot only makes this deal all the sweeter. Best of all, the Ring Video Doorbells can be integrated into whole home security solutions offered by Ring or even existing ADT systems. What better way to show you care than ensuring their safety? The Ring Video Doorbell Pro offers all you could ask for in front door security. But what about those precious pets and people inside? Don't worry, the Canary All-in-One has you totally covered. Packing an HD camera, temperature, humidity, and air quality monitoring, as well as a 90 decibel built-in siren, this Canary device is looking out for everyone's best interests, which means you, as a gift giver, totally are too. The Canary All-in-One isn't just content sitting there passively though. Instead, it learns from your surroundings, arming when you're away, and recognizing motion from people versus animals or other movement to minimize false alerts. If it sees someone when you're away, you can have an alert sent to your mobile device and alert first responders in one tap. This particular deal ratchets up security considerably, offering a full year of the paid membership for free. This includes such valuable features as full-length motion-activated recordings for up to 30 days, two-way talk through the device on your phone, and a safety button which functions as a silent alarm to alert the police. As with other security solutions, additional cameras and other accessories are available as well. Yes, Canary and by proxy you have covered all the bases with this gift. Here we are at the $200 to $300 price point. You'll be pretty proud of these, and that's okay. First in this section we have the JBL Link View. Smart displays can be useful little devices, but this is really the only one that can offer a listening experience that can rival some of your favorite Bluetooth speakers. You may recognize the Link name from earlier in this piece, and like those speakers, the Link View is able to link up with other Chromecast-enabled speakers as part of a whole home audio setup. Loud full audio, a mid-sized 8-inch display, versatile, unobtrusive looks, and IPX4 water resistance make the Link View an ideal screen and speaker combo. Well suited for larger bedrooms, living rooms, and of course the kitchen. Requisite features like a camera with a sliding cover and a microphone mute button prove that JBL doesn't compromise the Link View's privacy prowess for its more boisterous and outgoing feature set. Next, we have the Apple HomePod. It may not house the smartest voice assistant on the block, but it does deliver the best audio we've heard on a first-party smart speaker. The HomePod doesn't just deliver exceptional audio, but also automatically tunes itself to best fill whatever space it's in via spatial recognition. As mentioned, Siri isn't big on personal smarts, but by now, most smart devices are compatible with Apple HomeKit, and therefore the HomePod. This is still an Apple-centric device though, so it's only compatible with iOS devices and Apple Music. You can still airplay other music services from iOS devices though, or even pair two Apple HomePods together to give you a full home theater-like experience. From geeks to fitness buffs, and even just casual tech fans, the smartwatch is a gift that's hard not to love. 
Who couldn't appreciate just a few more precious moments without a phone in hand? Speaking into or texting from a watch is sometimes a very convenient shortcut. But if that's just peripheral to your gift recipient's true goal of tracking sleep and exercise, then guess what? You're still in the right place. Both the Samsung Galaxy Watch and third generation Apple Watch cover all the aforementioned functionalities and do so quite seamlessly with their respective compatible smartphones. The Galaxy Watch is actually compatible with iPhones, but with some limits like not being able to respond to text messages for instance, while the Apple Watch, predictably, only works with iPhones. The Galaxy Watch also comes with storage on board for taking music on the go, while the Apple Watch can only stream from internet connected apps. An important consideration for those looking to leave their phone at home during a run or a trip to the gym. Both of these watches can get linked up through a cellular connection on your mobile plan, but that will jack up the retail price a significant amount. At this price point, you'll have pretty much everything else you need though, including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS connectivity, and water resistance on both watches. The Galaxy Watch does edge out the Apple on water resistance though, sporting 5 ATM dust and waterproofing versus the Apple Watch's 50 meter rating. If you haven't heard by now, mesh Wi-Fi networks are the wave of the future. Without getting too technical, nodes in a mesh Wi-Fi network act as repeaters, replacing traditional wave-based Wi-Fi routers, forwarding the Wi-Fi signal from node to node with as little signal degradation as possible. Google Wi-Fi and Netgear Orbi are two of the best in the biz when it comes to this. And these three packs will cover up to 4,500 and 6,000 square feet respectively, with solid, reliable Wi-Fi. Clearly a gift from a solid, reliable person. When it comes to choosing between the two, they'll both increase your signal coverage and prevent signal degradation, but the Orbi is capable of faster speeds, larger bandwidth with its tri-band setup, and larger coverage areas. Generally speaking, Google Wi-Fi is a bit simpler to set up and control, but Netgear Orbi offers more customizations and features for power users. For the most part, the decision will come down to price, home size, your ISP's capabilities, and of course, preference but we're pretty sure no one will be anything less than overjoyed to receive either of these. Okay, you win. Whoever tried to outgift you has certainly paid the heftiest price, but not heftier than the price you paid for that gift. Most of the aforementioned devices have options to supersize their experiences with either more devices or bigger versions, and most of those land in this price range. Generally, they simply offer more of the great stuff their smaller siblings do, making them excellent choices in their respective price range. These are some of the most worthwhile upgrades we'd recommend. Encapsulating all the same great features as the Acton, the Marshall Stanmore has the best balance of sound quality and high decibels of the series, while the Woburn can crank up extremely loud and quite clear. The Woburn is a bit bass heavy at lower volumes though, even with the bass turned all the way down. The Google Home Max is another multi-room speaker option which can be paired in a stereo configuration as well. Sound is big on the Google Home Max, and the Assistant House Within is one of the smartest you can get. Keep in mind this may not be the best option for an Apple Music subscriber, but you can stream Spotify or Google Play Music from an iOS device with no issue. Yes, you read that right. Two Apple HomePods are better than one. And you can pair two of them together to get a stereo speaker setup that rivals a lot of soundbars. Or you can place them in different rooms to get some seriously pleasing whole home audio pumping throughout the entire house. Dual HomePods are a near perfect gift for the Apple Smart Home fan, but for a more music-centric option, we recommend Sonos. Sonos makes a pretty good case for all users, including Apple, with its more diversified hardware and freedom to stream from any music service. Sonos says the Play 5 is their most powerful, best sounding speaker, and based on the impressive performance of the Sonos One, we tend to believe them. If you have the cash, this is a very worthwhile upgrade. Of course, the option still exists to double up on the Sonos One for about $150 less, and while you may take a step down in sheer power, you do gain the ability to do a stereo or two room setup with the pair. Lastly, you can bundle the Sonos Beam with a Sonos One and kill two birds with one stone, equipping their TV with an excellent multi-room compatible soundbar and another room with a sweet wireless speaker. So there you have it, a complete blueprint to get the best gift at every price range for the best price. So if you screw up this holiday, that's on you. Just kidding, it's always the thought that counts, duh. And if you watch this entire video, then clearly you care a lot, and that'll come through no matter what you do this holidays, even if you can't get them any gift at all. I'm Corey Gaskin from Phone Arena, Happy holidays and thanks for watching.